Salam and welcome back to another very exciting Photoshop tutorial. My name is Visha and today I'm going to show you how to animate this sliced text effect which I designed in my last tutorial. If you haven't watched that video which is a very short three minute tutorial then pause right here and go and watch that video first and come back here to learn the animation part. If you have watched that let's begin. All right, so something I didn't cover in the last tutorial um, is the banding issue of this gradient right here. So I'm gonna try and minimize the uh, banding issue by creating a new layer and going to edit, fill, and I'm gonna take 50% gray from this contents. I press okay and go to filter noise add noise and i'm gonna crank this up just like that maybe 20 and um, keep our distribution to uniform maybe 15 press ok and i'm gonna make the blending mode to overlay so that's going to take care of that banding issue the next thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna rename this layer double click on the name and just write something maybe noise and I'm gonna rename this letter as well um, double click text below this one as well text above and then this guy would be shadow then i'm gonna go to window and select timeline this is where um all the animation is going to happen so i'm gonna go down here and select text above we are going to move this just like that move this and align it to the um, exactly to the text just like that make sure it's correctly aligned and then I'm gonna move this playhead to the left and then I'm going to make a keyframe by clicking this stopwatch icon on the transform and then I'm going to make another keyframe right next to layer mask position because we want to move layer mask as well. So I'm going to move this playhead to maybe 10 frames right about there. And I'm going to move this guy just like that. So it should animate now. Perfect. The next thing we want to do is um, we want to animate this shadow as well. And the way we have set up the shadow is perfect for this animation. Because um, this shadow is clicked to the below part of the text. So we can just move it around just like that so that's what we are gonna do let's go down here and let's make a keyframe on the position and let's move the playhead to the end of the animation and let's move this position keyframe here let's go back to the beginning and let's move this shadow just like that so what we have here is a pretty cool animation if you want you can fasten the the shadow part 
because it should start appearing faster than yeah just like that now we are facing a problem right about here we have a line here if you want you can just leave it at that because um, you barely notice that from this um, view but if you want to get rid of that we can do a little um, trick go to the text above and what we're gonna do is um, we are going to enable and disable the layer mask so I'm gonna make a keyframe right about here and I'm gonna move this keyframe to the right just like that so that it enables zoom in here so that it enables on the first keyframe I mean on the first um, frame so it should stay disabled on this first um, frame hope that makes sense in this keyframe it's enabled in this first frame we're going to disable it right click disable so it's going to create another um, keyframe It's like that so what we can do is um, we can move all of these keyframes to the right side just like that so that we have enough time to notice that this is a complete text and then it um, slices and animates so let's go ahead and watch that first yep looks good one last thing I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna draw a slicing um, line through here um, so that it indicates that, that something happened to the text which made it slice into two pieces. Hope that makes sense. So I'm gonna make a new layer and I'm gonna go to pen tool and let's move this playhead to maybe right about here and let's zoom in here and maybe start drawing just like that I'm just going to make it keep it simple just like that and make it a shape and let's double click here and let's give it a bright red okay so this is going to be the cut in half um, line sort of like um, anime style if you will so let's do some corrections to this line first of all I'm gonna make it thinner and I'm gonna give this guy some room just like that like that and um, yeah I guess it looks okay and let's maybe shorten it up a little bit just like that and let's drag it to the left right about there and I'm gonna shift all of these keyframes to a bit more um, forward in the timeline so that there's enough room to notice what is going on now let's play it just like that maybe um, we can clip it to the text below so it looks like something like that let's play it again All right, so uh, let's go ahead and render it out. Before that, um, I don't know why this um, noise layer is moving around so much. Let's let's um, shorten it 
a bit maybe 20 frames I guess yep okay so to render it out I'm going to file export and render video I'm going to leave it at the same folder that I am working on um, I use h.264 um, this is the mp4 format if I'm not wrong preset HD 1080p 30 frames per second and everything else seems to be okay just, let's just rename this test and click render it's going to take a while all right let's go ahead and watch the final animation sweet all right guys um that is pretty much it for me for today make sure that you are subscribed to the channel so that you don't miss out any tutorials in the future i hope i'll see you guys in the next tutorial until then salam so